What is process mining? Process mining helps streamline the process of improving business process flows by highlighting hidden inefficiencies. Instead of blindly trying to automate and improve your workflows, ServiceNow's in-platform process mining solution allows an organization to understand how processes interact with each other, identifies bottlenecks, and helps you make smart decisions about how to improve them. This quick demonstration will introduce you to how we do that. Many organizations run their businesses with dashboards just like this one, tracking critical KPIs and how they are trending towards the goals we've set. But when KPIs start to trend in the wrong direction, understanding why and how to improve isn't always easy and obvious. That is where process mining comes in. For example, if we see our, cost, our case closure times are trending in the wrong direction, in a single click, we can drill down into the process mining workspace to get a better understanding of some of the inefficiencies and more importantly, the opportunities to improve. In the process mining workspace, we are immediately presented with both AI-driven and rule-based improvement opportunities categorized by the type of opportunity and the KPIs they impact. For example, the engine will call out situations where work is repeating steps in the process, ping-ponging between teams, or perhaps going through slow transitions or transfers all things that will be slowing us down. Or this example here, we have a significant number of cases where the assignment group has been changed more than once. These multi-hop situations are adding 13 years of additional time or closure time to these cases. We have to be able to reclaim just one or 2% of that time. That would be a huge win for us from an organizational perspective. So now that we understand the opportunity and its magnitude, let's dive deeper to see if there's some ways to reclaim that time. We can drill into the analyst work mentioned to continue the conversation with the data. With the interactive process map, we have the ability to start focusing in on how work is moving from team to team, from priority to priority or state to state. For this assignment group analysis, since we're looking at multi-hop, we might wanna just focus in on how things are moving from assignment group to assignment group. So we can isolate just that part of the map and zoom in a little bit more here. Then we can start using the breakdowns on the left-hand side of the screen to start to look at these in, uh, cases that are bouncing from team to team by product, by channel, by state, by category, by assignment group. Let's focus in on the intake channel to see if there's any patterns here that might be help us with our investigation. It looks like the majority of these cases that are taking multiple hops to get to closure or coming in via email. So let's focus in on those. And now that we've isolated those, we can continue to dig into the data. We could use the map to focus in on some inefficient transfers about like maybe these 30 that are going from service desk level one to Solana product support, totaling two months of time for those 30s to make that, for those 30 cases to make that transition. Or maybe we want to focus in on these 72 that are going from Service Desk Level 1 to CX Support Americas, averaging two days to make that trip, uh, or a grand total of six months worth of inefficiency. We could use the map to dig into these, but we also have this variation analysis capability that allows us to look at all of the different routes that work this work is taking to get to closure. And I can scroll through these here, and I can find these 17 these 17 cases that are going from CX Support Americas to Solana Tech Support back to CX Support Americas. And on average, they're taking one month and one week, week to make that journey. So maybe we want to focus in on those and get an understanding of who's actually holding on to the work the longest in that scenario. And we can see here now that the work comes in, it goes to CX Support Americas. On average, they're taking two days to transfer it to Solana Tech Support then they're taking an average of one month to get it back to CX Support Americas before they close those cases out. I now know who's holding on to the work the longest. I also have this advantage being an in-platform process mining solution to get down to the detailed records themselves, to really dig into the actionable information, to understand what we might be able to do to, to uh, fix this inefficiency or these work that's work that these cases that are being transferred from team to team. And I can see here that the majority of these are just people trying to update their email address or reset their passwords. Those are definitely things that we should have self-service option for, and certainly we shouldn't have people sending emails in about them. Maybe we just need to market those self-service options if we already had them. 
So now that we've identified the, these, this improvement opportunity, what do we do next? Well, we need to close the loop. We need to make sure that it gets captured, tracked, and followed up on. And for that, we have applications on the ServiceNow platform like Continual Improvement Management and Automation Center that are designed specifically for this purpose, to link this op improvement opportunity to an improvement initiative that we already have in place or perhaps create a new one, just to make sure that the follow-up work gets done. Process mining is fantastic at helping us identify opportunities, but we really recognize the value when we start acting on the opportunities that have been presented for us to us. Now, this is just one example of how you can use ServiceNow's process mining to identify process improvement opportunities. You know you have your own opportunities to, to do better. Let's start using process mining to find those.